Welcome back to Soul Power Tarot and Tennis. I'm so delighted to be with you for the second video. I love doing these types of readings, so I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is video number two, as promised. This one will be about Arena Salamanca, and will she... I'm going to ask if she's going to win another um, Grand Slam. Um, she is the current Australian Open champion, so happy for her. And I'm going to ask how she's feeling now, um, what's to come for her, will she win any more Grand Slams, okay? So let's take a look. I'm going to look now into her mindset a little bit after this AO win, first of all, and then what's to come, okay? So let's take a look. Let's look at the mindset first, Arina Sabalaka, and I have to say, um, the disclaimer before I begin, this is for entertainment purposes and allegedly, and please do your own research and form your own opinions. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let me, let me, um, begin the reading. So, let's take a look. So, Adina Sabalanka, Ayo Champ, Adina Sabalanka, what is going on with her? Yeah, what's the situation around it right now? Okay, the Five of Pentacles. So she's taking time to rest. She and we know that she has. She's disconnected a little bit from tennis. This was the same card that came, um, I got in the Ika's reading as well. So this is taking, you know, rest. Um, she may also be feeling a little bit tired, but she's kind of disconnected to rest and to really take everything in and. Um, you know, to before she continues. So it's definitely a good thing to process a win and really take the time to enjoy it. So yeah, this is rest recuperation. Um, I think she's feeling a little bit under the weather, maybe a cold, nothing major, but she's resting and, um, you know, disconnecting from um, tennis for now to her next tournament. So let's see what is challenging Adina Salanka right now. What is challenging Adina Salanka right now? What is challenging Adina right now? Okay, the Queen of Swords. So it's hard for her because the Queen of Swords. This is her wanting to really go for it. You know, wanting to um, play, wanting to keep going. Um, she also doesn't like that she had to cut out tournaments. Uh, that is bothering her that she had to cut out Abu Dhabi because she won Abu Dhabi in 2021. Um, she did win in Doha before. So she does well in these tournaments, but she realizes she does have to rest. So she's, you know, not happy that she had to withdraw. Um, you know, it, it does play on her mind. But she knew that she had to disconnect before playing again after AO. So it was challenging for her to do. But she knew that it had to be done. So it's still on her mind. Um, she's one of those players who plays. You know, she, she plays a lot during the year. So um, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at it. You know, what is... So the nine of wands, so she, the nine of wands here, um, this is her trying to move past whatever little barriers she feels are there. Um, she feels like she, as you see the wands, the eight wands behind this person, she feels like she's overcome a lot, but she still has some hurdles to overcome. And her mindset is that she wants to work on that. Um, okay. And she feels, she feels a bit more encouraged now. Um, you know, there's still some things that she feels that she needs to work on that, that may, um, you know, be challenging for her, but she's willing to push through now. She feels a bit more confident um, and, and she can see that, um, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, she feels a lot more inspired and motivated now after this win for her. So um, let me take a look what from Athena's serves her. And by the way, for those of you who are asking, I'm doing a Celtic cross here. Um, 
So interesting. So what no longer serves her, what she thinks she has to do less, the nine of pentacles. Um, this is really indulging and um, focusing on like deals and uh, sponsorship deals and shopping and really just living in the lap of luxury. So she's feeling like she wants to focus on that stuff less and more on her tennis. Um, you know, she's also going to be one like Iga who's not chasing, um, you know, all these deals, but more focused on the tennis. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look. She feels like it's just not going to help her moving forward. And I, and I, I can agree with that. Um, so let's take a look. Because, you know, um, Emma Raducanu's who's agent, came out and said that, you know, Iga um, is not... They asked him um, if Iga's going to have a similar strategy because it seems like she's signed up under... Um, Ryder kind of is Asian as well, um, even, and she's keeping her old Polish management as well. Um, and he was saying the difference is that Iga is not interested in chasing all these sponsorship deals, and Emma is. So, and Iga is not going to be like that. Her, her focus is on her tennis, and, you know, he doesn't see that changing. So, just a little F, uh, FYI there, a little inside scoop that I read um, online. It's interesting that, you know, Emma's agent is saying this. It makes sense. And I do feel in a lot of ways the, the sponsorships are getting in her way. Um, that pressure of trying to maintain them. So anyway, let's go back to Iga here. Let's see. What, uh, sorry, not Iga. Arena. But yeah, some like, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, Arena Sabalanka, she's working hard. She is training, working hard, even though she's not playing any tournaments. They the pentacles. What's hidden is she's working hard. She hasn't stopped working. So people may think, oh my God, she's not playing all these tournaments, but she's working. Eight of pentacles. She's back at the drawing board, working hard. Um, practicing, working a lot behind the scenes while she is away. So, which is a good sign. Uh, what's going to happen for Arena Savalanka in the immediate future? That's great. In the immediate future. This one wanted to come out. Um, see. It's going to happen in the future. Okay, Arena. Three of Pentacles. She's working with her team to really to keep things balanced, to find a way to keep pushing forward to win more tournaments. Um, I do think she will win more tournaments and we'll look in a second if she'll win more, um, if she'll win more Grand Slams. So let's see how does Arena, let's see if Arena feel. Yeah. She's, you know, the next three tournaments, because I just dawned on me the next three she's going to play will probably be Dubai. Um, and then the other two, a thousand tournaments in, um, in the U.S., the, uh, Indian Wells and, uh, Miami. So those three, those three there are worth a lot. They're all 1,000 tournaments. I think that her and her team are focused on those three tournaments, um, and how, and strategy and how to win them. Okay. So let's just to, to tell you because I, I that came to me as I was looking at that card so let's see here how does right you know okay she feels like she's in a good place she thinks like finally with the justice card ego got this card as well that finally things are working out in her favor um, that her hard work is paying off um, I didn't know so let's see what uh, hermit she's still she feels like she still has a ways to go and she's still trying to do better um she's still trying to light the way forward um she is trying to figure out what are what her next steps are and how to arrange her schedule in a way that she doesn't get injured and in a way that she can keep excelling so 
that's what she's kind of um, another thing that she's focused on now and she will the hermit is someone who finds their way they like that way they learn from their mistakes they're really knowledgeable and they use that to light the path ahead so they really go within and, and do that inner work and she has done a lot of that and it has paid off it's helped her win um this grand slam they oh so let's take a look what are you gonna hopes and fears okay so the ace of swords she's hoping that her plan works she hopes that she can still win more um grand slams that she can still um really move past any difficulties that she's had in the past and really keep winning with this sword here keep battling keep winning and that her game plan will continue to work for her that is her hope um let's see the outcome what is the outcome for Adina Stefanaka what is the outcome for Adina Stefanaka what is the outcome for this year so she, um, let me see. I'm going to pull some more cards here. What the outcome for you? So. Ace of Pentacles. So she's going to win more titles. This is about winning more titles. It could possibly be another Grand Slam. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is more of a bigger title. She's going to find the way to win more. She will with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, with it, you know, that's what that is saying. She is, um, she's learned a lot from her challenges, from the losses she had last year. And this is saying she'll find her way to at least another Grand Slam this year. To win another grand slam this year the way we're open for her and um definitely more titles but i'm gonna focus more on the um i'm gonna focus more on the grand slams now let's see can i ask i'm just curious to ask actually um if she's gonna win more grand slams and yeah i'm gonna ask that and i'm going to let's take a look at it you know curious here let's see what went any more grand slams this year i know the last reading just said it that yes there are more titles and more grand slams but let me ask it specifically this year Yeah, she's gonna win. Here's a cup. She's gonna win. She's gonna win another Grand Slam. Um, I asked when she will she win more Grand Slams this year. Yes, there's at least one more bar champion here. The Seven of Pentacles. She's going to try really hard. In the effort she's been putting in the off season in the previous years is really gonna pay off for her this year. We're gonna see her finally get a return on her investment. She will win another Grand Slam. And I'll, and more titles. There are more titles for Arena this year. The, the chariot here, she is really going to stay on top. She is going to find a balance. She's going to stay. She's going to find some dominance on that in, and stay in that number two um, ranking. She's going to, she's really going to dominate there. Um, the seven of swords, she will have some challenges. Um, you know, there are definitely a lot of good players on the WTA tour, so she will have, sorry for that light, she will have her challenges, but she feels really confident, the Queen of Wands, she feels really confident that she can rise to the occasion. She really wants more. She really, really wants more. Um, we also have this Ace of Cups right here. This is, this is a title, and I'm asking about a Grand Slam. This is a Grand Slam, you know. So this kind of looks like the one she won. I'm trying to think. Um, 
the ruler girls oh, yeah it's, it's more of a cup because wimbledon well i'm not sure she'll be able to play with in wimbledon but this is either um Roland Garros, uh, Roland Garros or uh, the U.S. Open. I think Wimbledon is kind of question mark. I'm not sure that she will be able to as it looks now. I think that ban will still be in place. So one of either U.S. Open or um, Roland Garros. I really feel though looking at this, it may be U.S. Open. She came really close to winning it um in the past two years she she reached the semifinals i believe so you know it could be that one that she goes on to win but there's one more for her do you feel like she'll be able to win one more this year so we'll wait and see of course um we'll wait and see so yeah it looks really promising for her i mean, i think she's in a good place she's come She's worked extremely hard. She's overcome a lot. And I think she should be confident. And she should really um, ride this momentum in this this wave here. And see how far she can take it. I think there are good things for her. According to the reading is saying ahead. And we should see at least one more um, Grand Slam for her this year. So that would be really, really amazing. Um, and yeah, there are more titles for her as well. So, yeah, I will read on her when she, uh, she's playing. Um, so far, I think she's going to play in, in Dubai, which is a 1,000, WTA 1,000. So I will do readings on that tournament. Um, I may do readings on Doha. I haven't decided. I most probably will, will do um, on uh, the different matchups, readings on the different matchups in Doha next week. So, yeah, but for now, this is Arena's um, video love and light to you all thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment in uh let me know in the comments below do you think that arena sabalanka will win any more um grasslands this year do you agree with the reading yes or no and any other suggestions for readings that you have please put them in the comments below thank you once again for watching love and light take care see you in the next one Bye bye